lazy composting. Here we go. Here's what I call my lazy compost. I come in here periodically and just take the tractor bucket and scrape this back into a heap. And these guys get in here and literally spread this everywhere, break it down. And then we end up, after just a little while of just leaves and stuff, we end up with this beautiful, just this beautiful compost. And I don't have to turn it or anything. So. I say utilize what you have and my workers are these guys. We don't want them to be freeloaders. So we let them work for us on our farm. But all of our kitchen scraps, leftovers from the garden, anything that we can't utilize goes back into this pile. The chickens eat what they want out of it and they leave the rest to decompose. Now let's scrape this flat area back up into a nice little heap. Five minutes and we have this beautiful heat back I want you to look at the dirt down here from them working it this is the beautiful compost that this stuff turns into I do also use the goat manure and hay from the stalls on the goat side which they are in the background yelling you can hear them but yeah five minutes work to get this back up, beats shoveling every one of them. Look, they are already hard at work. For those of you who don't know, chickens hate piles. They actually love them, but they hate for them to be upright. They wanna come down here and kick all of this down and level it all out. It's like an inviting environment for them and it gives them something to do so they're not bored all day long.
composting can be a vigorously hard, laborsome job, unless you do it the lazy way, like we do here, or like I do here. Um, I work this farm a lot of times by myself. My husband works really long, long hours through the week, and so I don't get a lot of help, but it's my dream. And so I do a lot of the work myself, so you have to utilize things, and you work smarter and not harder. So I try to utilize anything that I have available on the farm to be able to use. And if that's my chickens working for me and less shoveling for me, then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make them work for me so that I can be doing something else. So if I can just get the tractor and spend five minutes and scrape all this up and go about my business, then that's three hours worth of shoveling that I don't have to do. And it saves my arm, my shoulders, and everything for other projects and other side in the, all the hay and the manure from the goat side of the fence into this pile from time to time. All of the scraps from the garden, all of the kitchen scraps, everything from the house. We don't waste anything on this farm. We use everything that we can and possibly recycle it into something else because we don't wanna waste anything. So we dump all the scraps here. They eat what they want. The rest lays in this compost pile and breaks down whatever it is. We use um, tea bags, coffee grounds, everything goes into the compost. Like they don't eat that, but it turns into some great dirt and aerates the soil very well with those little grains and makes it soft. So hope you enjoyed. Tune in next time. Talk to you later and God bless. Six hours later and they already got this thing going. <laughs>